from its old phone booths to its double-decker buses, bright red is a color we associate with the city of London. Far less well-known are 13 little green shacks that dot the British capital. Together, they're part of a very exclusive club that's been part of London life for well over a century. Jonathan Vigliotti tells us who gets to go inside. London's distinctive green cabman's shelters, no bigger than horse-drawn carriages, are kind of like America's version of a Route 6 diner. Tired travelers line up at the door, but here only those with the knowledge can gain access inside. It's only licensed taxi drivers that can sit inside. Oh, that's brilliant. That makes people like Kate Simmons the unlikely bouncer of her shelter on Russell Square. We've got handsome pay. We've got Smelly Pete, but not Smelly because he smells, Smelly because he's always got aftershave on. Drivers' nicknames are as established as the history of these huts, first built in the 1870s for London's black cab drivers, the men and women who've memorized every single crooked road in the city. They were established in the days of horse and carriage as a way to keep drivers out of pubs and on the roads. Today, they also help keep them sane, explains cabbie Mick Smith. They are tight quarters. What is it that keeps you coming back here instead of somewhere with a little bit more space? I, well, they are a shelter and it's, you know, a shelter not just from the weather, the elements, but from the, the madding crowds outside. The shelters have become so well known for their cheap eats. There you go, sweetheart. They now serve the public through the window. Tracy Edwards' hut on Warwick Avenue is a regular haunt for some local famous faces, like musician Paul Weller and some visitors from out of town. I met Daniel Craig. Okay, James oh, really? Bond, yeah. Really? James Bond has come yeah. up to this very window. Yeah. How does um, he take his sandwich? He didn't. He just wanted to be nosy, but the building was like. <laughs> <laughs> the current U.S. ambassador, Woody Johnson, has also been allowed inside. We've been talking about icons this morning, and there's Parliament, there's Big Ben, there's obviously the bright red phone booths. Cabman shelters, <laughs> green, green little buildings on the side of roads. No? Tracy's little building is known for her breakfast staple, the bacon sandwich. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Go for it. Go for it is right. Go for it. So there's butter and just bacon. Yeah. Just old and traditional. There used to be 61 shelters in this city, but now only 12 are in business as the city's black cabs compete with Uber and other car services for space on the road. Cab drivers and their tiny green shelters are kind of like the salt and pepper of London life. He's got his wig in his head. <laughs> Full of enough wit to season any conversation. <laughs> and always around, at least for now. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Jonathan Migliotti, London. For some reason, I'm hungry for one of those butter and bacon sandwiches. I was just going to say, is it bad that the butter and bacon sandwich sounded really good? <laughs> I love those little green places. I hope they don't disappear.